do 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 three two all right <laughs> welcome to the 36 iowa gold strategy workshop we're doing a little bit different uh i'm matt riley and my co-host tonight is larry sullivan hey hey all right so uh you guys know we commissioned the brl and we do a lot of work with the ior uh if you are a new player hit pause go and watch the how to win in the iwa video it'll explain all the jargon and you know language you're going to hear it'll make it a lot easier for you to understand this video watch the other one first now, and all the swearing you're about to hear too <laughs> right yeah uh we're doing a bit different this time. We're not going to do it live on Zoom uh, for everybody. We're just going to do it ourselves and then post it. And it's going to be like a 10 to 15 minute video, uh, much easier to digest. And we're not going to pick a strategy for you. We're going to talk about some, some basic elements. So uh, what you have here is our IOR five point checklist. So uh, in our kind of figuring out the best way to, to, to present this, we want to talk about how we get to a point where we kind of pick what holds we pick. So as you're going through, we're like, well, what are the questions we have to ask ourselves when we're doing a strategy that makes us comfortable picking a drop? So this is our five points. So we're going to go through each one and explain it, and then it'll make a little more sense as we go along. So uh, if you don't know, there are six federations in the IWA. We're in gold with the third one in the run each month or each cycle. So it's iron, steel, gold, diamond, bronze, jade. So the first point we have here is, does the drop I'm picking the one, if it, you know, this drop, does it screw over the other feds, make it harder for them to pick? So for example, in the BRL, uh, oftentimes one of the drops that I'm ruling out is either last cycle, two cycles ago, or the iron steel drop. So often the IWA will use the drop that was happened in gold last cycle or the cycle before. So it makes it that I don't get an extra uh, option to rule out for what will go uh, in my little pot of ideas. So the idea here is, uh, you know, which of these drops that we could choose from does the most damage to players trying to pick a whole hold combo in the other federations? Uh, Larry, how do you feel about this, this picker option here? Um, well, Brad Norman actually uh, clued me into this, and I'm sure a lot of, of the players know about this already. But yeah, the basic idea is um, a lot of times, well, what you want to do anyway, basically, you want to rule out whatever dropped in iron and steel, obviously, right? Um, but what you'll see, especially like this cycle, it's rare that a hold will drop in gold or in any federation, really, two cycles after it's already dropped once. And if you look at what just happened in steel, the steel drop was a 28-26. Last cycle, or sorry, two cycles ago in gold, it was 28-26. So that's their kind of subtle way of screwing us over because if steel had dropped in something that hadn't dropped in gold for a few cycles, that gives us even more of a clue about what to focus on. The same thing happens with gold uh, when you're talking about the bottom three feds. So you're talking about diamond, bronze, and jade. Um, typically, not always, but typically, the gold drop will be something that makes it as hard as possible for players in diamond, bronze, and jade to pick a winning drop combo. If you look at what's happened recently, um, you know, 28 dropped in Jade two cycles ago, and it dropped last cycle in bronze. Um, it's obviously been a long time since 28, 28 has dropped in gold. But as you look at that, you start to say to yourself, well, it's been a long time since it's dropped in gold. And on top of that, if it drops in gold, it is going to make it's that much harder for two of the bottom three feds to, to pick the, the right drop combo. Hopefully that makes sense. I, I think it makes pretty good sense. This the idea is if you're in a further Federation, I was the example of Jade. When I played in the QL, I thought I had it made like when I put Jade in the game, when I've created it, I was thinking, where would it be you know, a good place for it? I was like, Oh man, if I put it in Jade, I'm going to have five different feds and last cycles drop to pick from. This is a can't miss. I missed all the time. I think I have the record for Jay when it came to like picking the exact opposite or like the worst possible combos. This guy. Um, yeah. So screw the world feds is a way to, you know, first step of 
Okay, and I know it's, it's sort of a macro look at it. It's a bigger picture, but we're going to talk about some other smaller stuff, little steps. So the idea here is, as you're going through, is each of these steps, you can check them off and feel more secure in your pick. So we'll get to that later on. But number two, duration. When was the last time it dropped? So uh, I'm going to reveal a little bit over here and just show kind of how uh, over here the combos you see, you know, this is the hold values from this past cycle. So 30s were 12 and 22 and yada, yada, yada. I'm not going to run through the whole list. You get it. But eight ago, six ago, last cycle, 27 ago. So the duration, the time between the drops. So we noticed while well, we were kind of breaking it down, uh, four ago, that number, so four cycles between it has happened, I think, was it three or four times in the last? Yeah, three, three times this year. Yeah, so it's it's not uncommon. Same thing with tens happened a few times. So those could be options that that could be a you know if you say oh I'm going to pick twenty uh, sixes because that's been ten cycles ago you could do that. Uh, you know, looking at twenty eights, I, I I put this question out there to the people watching and and hopefully someone knows this. I'm curious if there's other feds that have similar situation where like a particular combo hasn't dropped for like a year and a half. That's 28 cycles. That's almost two years since 28s dropped. And 28s were very common and, and, and more popular in the, in the gold for a while. So I guess they, you know, they shit on the rug and the house. Now they're being punished. <laughs> hey. Oh, oh, it's a joke. <laughs> a little, by, little, behind the, little behind the scenes action. <laughs> that is, well, oh, by the way, Larry did not shit in his house. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> no, not not yet. Not yet. <laughs> we're doing friend. strategies until Sunday. If you hit 501. <laughs> <laughs> there'll be shit all over this house um so anyways my point is that just you know you kind of look at this now personally i always rule out the previous cycle and the cycle drop two cycles ago uh they do do three cycle drops it's not that uncommon but it's just something to keep in mind and help again check these checkpoints off to make yourself feel okay that happens it checks that mark okay so um you know do you want to move on to number three yeah let's do it this is a, a more gold specific one uh I don't do as much research outside of gold that, uh, that Larry does or like Brad Norman does or other players who, you know, win a lot. I, uh, you're not me. <laughs> well, well, a lot of players who win a lot besides us. Um, so what was 25 points two cycles ago? So I'm going to, I'm going to move this around and I'm going to uh, show this part of the chart. And you see here, so the eight hold was 25 28, 25, 28, 25. Okay, so like every other cycle. Then you see the holds here, five and 59 were both 25 points two cycles ago. And this goes back, just I wanted to point out, this goes back to almost the beginning of the year. I didn't go back to 2020 to look at how long this trend's been going on, but at least for 2021, there have been holds and there's been, I think, two or three cycles are the exception of the rule where one of the 25 point holds from two cycles ago has dropped to 25 again. Um, so could they not do that? Of course they can do anything they want as we all know, but um, it's just been happening so much that it's definitely worth taking a look at. Right. So it's an easy way to pick a hold because it happens so often in gold that you can feel pretty confident in picking five or 59 as one of your drops. If you decide to go that way again, uh, you know, kind of a side note, I always talk about convincing yourself of A and then convince yourself of B and have like two options and two plans and just completely buy in on both of them. If you have two wrestlers, give one A, give one A. Uh, if you have one wrestler, good luck because it's tough as hell. Um, yeah, I run, I run a, a relatively small roster. I, I don't flood. Um, I've got, actually, I've got seven total guys and one, two of them are a tag team. So. I do this just to help me narrow down to what I think could potentially drop because otherwise, you know, I, you're, you're just sort of throwing darts at a wall, which I've also tried. Um, so, <laughs> right. All right. So that was uh, number three, which was, what was the drop two cycles ago? Um, now the number four is this is one of the more difficult ones to understand at first, but once you get it, you'll understand. And I'm going to open a different page to show this because I think it works better looking at it the way I looked at it. Uh, so do you want to explain number four, Larry, as I open this up? Yeah. Um, all right. So if you look across 
again, with all of these, I will, I will say that it's, there is always an exception to the rule and this is not guaranteed, particularly if there's been a double drop. Um, sometimes they just reset the next, next cycle. But if you go back to January of this year and you look not at the holds that drop, but at the drop combos, there is typically a bridge from cycle to cycle, meaning if, and I, I'm looking at match right now, but I'll just say, for instance, if you look at these, like, so July was 29, 26, then you had 28, 26, meaning that 26 was the bridge. The following cycle, 28, 27, 28 was the bridge. The following cycle, 27, 26, 27 was a bridge and so on and so forth. So if you think, <laughs> if you think that oh, that shit. is another way, yeah, any nosebleeds out there, I apologize. Um, if, if you think, and I do personally, because again, it happens way often, uh, way more often than it doesn't. Look at this cycle, this past cycle's drop, which I believe was a, a 29, 26. In my mind, that tells me, again, in just trying to narrow down my options, that the next drop combo will have a 29 in it or a 26 in it. It could also be a double 26. It could be the 28s we've been waiting for, which completely throws this out the window. As I said, double drops are a little bit of a wild card. But following that pattern is just another way to say, okay, there's so many choices. How do I, how do I sort of laser in and focus on what I think has the best, um, the, the best chances of, of uh, dropping to 25? Yes. Does that make sense? I think it does. I, I, I think looking at visually on my chart where you can actually watch it go down and up and down uh, is easier than going across. But that's just me. But I just feel that that's actually not a bad way to look at it. And again, this goes, I'm going to jump back over to the screen. Uh, this goes back over. The fourth one was, does it, you know, bridge and a 29 or 26 being involved somehow does bridge if you go that way. Now, uh, number five I don't have a good chart, but we'll play along here. Uh, and I'll let Larry talk about this because he, he discovered this gem. Yeah, again, and I, I do this. Um, and I think a lot of players who've been playing for a while do this. And, and that's who I learned this from. Iron and steel isn't just valuable in terms of, okay, what drop? I can rule them out. They're also valuable in looking for, for trends in what's happening with um, particular hold values and what's happening. So, for instance, um, I looked back this past cycle and I noticed that in both iron and steel, a hole that was 30 points two cycles ago dropped to 25 this cycle. And could it happen in gold? It could, it also couldn't happen. But again, I, I feel like there are, there are trends both with your, your front 10 and your bottom five um, that if you notice something happening in iron and steel, take a look at that, study those things, because it'll give you a little bit more insight, I feel, into what could potentially happen in gold. Um, this one in particular jumped out at me. And um, the reason it jumped out at me is because I was on the fence about whether hold number 25 would go to 30 or down to 28. When I look at the other 29, it's 33. 20, the hold number 25, I there's no way that's dropping down to 25 in terms of a value, the 25 right. value. But if the trend that happened in iron and steel holds true in gold, the other 29 point hold value being 33 could very well drop. And if you take that into account, along with all these other things, it starts to just help you narrow down under each drop combo, what those holds are that could potentially help get you on the title page. Just saying, you know, so our IOR five point checklist here, you know, does the, the combo you're picking hit these checklists? So what we're gonna do is look at uh, some of the holds and I'm gonna shrink this over here. So, uh, ooh, that, that looks terrible. Um, all right, so we're not gonna go through the whole entire hold set here. Uh, I'm not going to pick holds anymore. It's just, it's a waste of time, you know, uh, although 
Uh, yes, if you're wondering, the, the initials for the wrestlers on the side of the chart are my wrestlers and what I'm thinking about giving them for drops. If you want to copy my stuff, I welcome you to the 491, 492 realm. So there you go. Uh, over here, though, you see uh, I have question marks. So I have 25 question mark on 33. And that's the theory we're going with here. Okay, if I'm going to run it and say, okay, uh, 33 goes down to 25. 25 goes to 30. Now, if we go with our current theory about the bridging, 29 is the bridge, and it gets us to either 27 or 28, because 26 is not an option. It's not going to be, you know, a drop. It's, it's ruled out. It was last cycle. So we have 1, 5, 45, 59 as our options. So then we kind of pair them up. And now I have 45 as a possible 30, because it was 30 before. Um, we were talking before about how one's kind of overdue. Like if the 28s are overdue, one is overdue to go down again. One was like shit house for a long time. What well, could be that? So now it's where you kind of go through and pick. And I, I, <laughs> I will say this, the sixth checkpoint is your gut. Yeah. Uh, we all can't be Tim Clark running off 1,800 501s. Damn you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where's Tim? I think Tim Clark should be doing this. I, I was going to say that, uh, you know, I, <laughs> Clark uh, managed Tim's Zastampowski to a second back-to-back -back Johnny B. Cup win. Congrats, Tim. When, yeah, congrats. And when I, was, <laughs> when I was doing my numbers, like, frantically on last Gold Tuesday, I started doing Turner Strats. And I'm going through and I realized that I had programmed the holds incorrectly. So we had 25 twice. So I'm like, oh my God, are you kidding me? And then once I realized he had a 501, I felt a lot better because I was like, okay, I had a shit cycle, but I would have lost anyways. <laughs> so I, I felt somewhat better. Uh, and I do appreciate that he, he uh, bestowed his revolution title shot to Turner uh, because honestly, and this is a good policy effect, I meant to mention this on the TubeCast last night, that if somebody enters an IOR event and they leave and they're still involved in it, uh, if they win, the shot, the title shot will go to the next available IOR wrestler. Because we aren't doing that whole like wrestler outside the league thing. Although I know Barry Stevens is the UVU champion still. Sorry, Rob. <laughs> um, so getting us down there, we have kind of our, our options here. So you can, you know, on your own, Whatever you feel right with or feels good to you. If, it's, if that's the drop you want to go with. If you want to go with 28s, go with 28s. You know, uh, part of it is not just saying, okay, I'm going to go with 28s. It's what are the holds in the 28? You know, what are those combos? It's 45 and 59. 59, I could see. 45 was strong for a while. Uh, has not pretty reliable, but, you know, maybe it's due to, you know, shit the bed. Um, let's look down at the, are you good with the top 10, Larry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, just you know, we're not gonna we're not gonna pick us all apart. Uh, we want to talk about the bottom five. So, um, bottom five here. So you see the you know, ours the back end, as some of us call it, um, because it's where we take it in the butt. Because the backside, the backside. We we think front ten. I love I love seeing people post things like, I nailed the front ten. Back five sucks. Like. Oh, man. I hit last cycle. I hit the exact right drop combo for one of my guys. And I was, I was so happy because I just looked at, the, at what the drop was. And then as soon as I looked at what I had for the back five, it was, you know, it was lights out. It was miserable. Yeah. yeah. So, so we're just going to talk quickly about, uh, and you see here where I've kind of guesstimated my options here. So let's, let's say we're going to play, Take it easy and assume that it's going to be a repeat. Now, Larry, you want to talk about what happened in Iron Steel and, and sort of why we're leaning this way? Yeah, this this goes back to um, number five on the checklist, which is that what I noticed when I looked at what happened in Iron and Steel, it was a pretty tame, uh, pretty tame deal the last for this past cycle for both of those both of those two feds. Meaning, nothing weird happened. We didn't have any, you know bad holds jump to uh you know to a high number um 41s went to 44 in both and of the two 41s you could have chosen 
and I'd have to look back to confirm this, but I'm pretty sure I, cause I've looked like 10 times out. It was the stronger of the 41s that jumped to 44. So if you're looking at your, your, your back five and you're trying to figure out what you're going to do, well, the easiest way to approach it, especially when, um, when 90 is at a 44 and not a 43, you just take your, your 45s from the past cycle and you're just going to put them at 14 and 15. Then you've got to choose your, your 44 and your 43 that's going to jump for your 11 and 12 spots. Again, both 44s that jump to 45 and both 43s that jump to 45 in iron and steel were the stronger of the two holds, meaning, again, no swerves, nothing weird. So for me, this cycle, it really boils down to which of the 41s you want to use. And again, based on what I'm seeing, the stronger of the two made the jump. So it feels like a pretty straightforward back five, but th that's also probably going to be the, the death of my roster this cycle. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we were talking earlier about uh, putting all your baskets or all your eggs in one basket. Um, and that, you know, when you have, let's say, I, I think I'm 33. Well, if I put all my wrestles with 33 is the, avoid the drop and 33 ends up hitting 30. Bad news. And, well, again, like, you know, like this is a perfect example what, Tim Clark did this past cycle. He he put all of his money on black, and as Wesley Snipes would say, you always bet on black. Damn right. Uh, <laughs> but he's had some he's had some like tax evasion issues, so I don't know how yeah, much so, advice you, know, you want to take from Wesley Snipes. Yeah, Wesley Wesley not the best. You know he's he's calling uh, <laughs> Olympic or what the hell is that company called? All right, you know, there's two guys I hear on the TV all the time. One is uh, do you own a timeshare, and then uh, <laughs> the other one's the uh, it's like, oh, like ocean something or other. It's an O, but it's like tax. Oh, the lawyer, the lawyers who get you out of being stuck with like a timeshare that's like sinking into the, the swamps of Florida. Right. Yeah. Like, do you yeah. want to share? I'm Don Gavin, and I'm a horrible <laughs> person, and I used to sell babies for timeshares, and I'm gonna burn my way out of hell. Um, I have I have a family member, uh, a relative, who owns a timeshare, and and they're in bad health, and everyone's kind of like gonna happen once that you know once that uh once that happens you know like who's getting that deal because it's actually a good a good iwa gimmick would be a guy who's been driven insane by owning a terrible timeshare <laughs> and now he's showing up to take it out on everyone i you know i was thinking of something similar in the car because there's tons of commercials here in boston where they're like um you know you have to put money aside for uh you know one to retire and like you know like a, don't let the nursing home get your house and i just picked this mafia group like bunch of old nursing homes like we're gonna take their homes <laughs> but that's that's awesome so everyone's old and angry up here uh, anyways <laughs> anyways um sorry, i just read an article earlier about family parks been doing concerts at family parks for like 19 years and in that whole entire time they've had one concert headlined by a non-white person is that right? Yeah, and they were like, like Jay Z did a tour with Timberlake. And I was going to ask you who it was. Okay. Well, last night was Guns N' Roses, so they were there, and, and I, I saw a customer and I asked him, like, "Oh, you went?" And he's like, "Yeah, yeah." Axel behaved. I'm like, oh, it's after the battle when it comes to Guns N' Roses. Um, I would have liked to go to that, but I saw Bruce Springsteen there. That was the worst day they ever had. I'll tell a story another time. Um, and not with Bruce Springsteen at the concert, and. <laughs> <laughs> And I just thought, like, you no, know, wow, it's not very, very not a lot of diversity there. And I was like, oh, it's Boston, you know, people, you know, yeah, whatever. What uh, are you gonna do? Well, not much. Everything costs too much money around here. Um. Anyways, getting back to our our topics here, we we fed it through and kind of picked these out. But the idea is that the stronger of the forty threes, the stronger of the forty fours, and then of course both forty fives, and then the stronger of the forty ones. Now forty two, uh. You know, uh, both went to 41 last time. And before that, went up to 44. So, you, you know, I generally speaking, I go with 41s because 42 is a bigger gamble. I'd rather go up to 42 points or 43 and take a small boost up than roll the dice and get cranked four points. Because if you think about it, if you get on, on a 42 and you get 41 points and, you know, you're missing out, that could be three-point swing. And three or four points here or there um, can be the difference between regional title or not, or making the title page. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. I, every time I've, I've convinced myself to go with a 42, it, it's backfired on me. So I'm now, you know, once bitten, twice shy on the 42 okay. going to going to 44. You won't be saying she's my cherry pie, so. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Warren. Cherry Warren. pie is Warren. Warren. All right. Sorry. Great White. Did one spit and twice shy. Didn't they burn? They didn't they like burn a club down and. Uh, I will tell you a quick side story. When I moved to Rhode Island, the night I moved there, the fire station two doors down from where I lived, and that was the night of the the uh, fire, and it it was like nine eleven in in Rhode Island because everyone you knew knew somebody, like who died. Uh, it was it was awful, but uh. They were on con. What happened was they were doing a performing. They had pyrotechnics that weren't cleared. The club had like locked doors. There was like, it was awful. Like, it was just like, it was like Coconut Grove all over again. Uh, yeah. People couldn't get out and they just, you know, suffocated or burned to death. So uh, the, the band, I think, like got basically off with it. was like a bunch of like technicalities that got them off. They didn't really support it. But people were, were like, there's a big memorial there where the club was. So station nightclub that was the place station. Not for nothing, but imagine if the last band you ever saw was Great White. <laughs> it's a puts in respect. Uh, yeah, like you're like, oh, who'd you? Yeah, yeah. Pearly Gates. What did you do? I died at a concert. Who'd you see? Great White. <sighs> Let's down on that elevator. <laughs> so I'll see if I can do something for you, pal. Uh, that's terrible, but uh, yeah, it, it was it was a huge event uh, in 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 this in this area. So, anyways, on other cheery notes, uh, I want to stop and wish our good pal Scott Franklin get well. He's got the COVID, so he's he's battling back from it. So uh, hopefully he'll watch this and show the the hot nurse who's hitting on him the video and be like, "Hey, I got mentioned." Yeah, feel better, Scott. Scott and his son are dealing with it, so that sucks. Let's yeah, uh, his get son them, get them back to their old selves soon. Yeah, and we need Dixon Ty Tonderoga cutting those promos, and we need uh, Lavender Fields cutting things up. So, yep, uh, get better. I think we're pretty good, right? I mean, we kind of covered all the stuff. Yeah, I mean, if you guys again, for for those of you who are more experienced, I'm sure you've got some of your own your own methods. Um, for those of you who are kind of maybe just up from the NWL or new to the NWL or in the middle of your NWL run, and you're you know you're kind of struggling to figure this stuff out try just look at the checklist and and try to find those drops that check off as many of these boxes as um as you can and just take a swing um i think like matt said just make sure unless you've got a big enough roster just be careful about going all in on one drop combo because you know we like a game where people not only win titles but also tt and, you know, if you go long enough without winning belts, um, sometimes it, it starts to sap a bit of your creativity. So just, you know, spread it out and um, good luck to everybody. Yeah, yeah, man, it really is true. And I know for a lot of the players that have only one wrestler or only a couple, uh, you know, if you have more than one, diversify. You know, absolutely give like one guy a 29-28, one a 29-27, one maybe a 27, so you mix it up a bit. Um, and keep in mind, keep in mind who you're giving those to, because, you know, if you've got someone who's got a league title shot, give that guy, I know Matt does this, Matt's got his sort of like A, B, C, and D strategies, and it's, it's based on confidence, but he's going to give the best, the best strat he has <laughs> to the guy who's got, you know, the most going on that cycle, whether it's a, you know, a shot at a commissioner's title, or if you've got a big pay-per-view coming up, like we've got autumn anarchy, um, the results for automatic and autumn anarchy, if I can speak, are going to be based on this coming cycle's results. So if you've got guys in big matches, think about it that way too. Don't, don't give the one you think is going to be a home run to someone who, you know, the best they can do is hit a regional, right. give it to the guy who's, you know, going for a commissioner's title. Um, yeah. Sorry. I just, I just, I just, I started looking at the screen with all of and the, the different secret colors, is all of the oh. colors and numbers, and I started to have a small stroke. No, it it, it really is um, a matter of you know being comfortable with your picks, 
And like I said, you know, challenge every champion uh, that you can. If you qualify for a TV title shot, send it in. You know, the worst thing in the world is uh, what happened to U.S. Mail, where he hit a 501 and, and he didn't have a title shot. Like, and then it got screwed up with, with the TV championship thing, and the TV champion became league champion and all that stuff. Um, yeah, NWLers, just because you're you have a regional or you're in the top, you know, is it five or ten? Your, your TV title shot isn't automatically guaranteed like it would be for a league. So you need to make sure you sign that match and write TV hey title next to the match. Hey up, choppers. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, all right. Well, this was the 36th edition. And, uh, you know, thank you, Larry, for joining me. Uh, we're going sure. to be a little different. It's, again, we're going to go over this in another three weeks and beat our heads against the wall. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully, uh, my Hope is always that a 501 or 500 comes out of the NWL is that uh, then you're going to get all kinds of offers from stables you never heard of asking to join them. That's right. So, all right. Well, uh, thanks, guys. And it'll pr probably be from Dynasty. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Love you, Dynasty. I really do like you guys a lot. I just couldn't help myself. I, 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 I was there going, oh, I should have covered more of their stuff because there's so many of them in there. And I'm like, I don't even cover too much. Whatever, it's fine. You guys will hear the tube cast probably over the weekend. Alex is editing it this week. Uh, we did it last night. So there it is. So uh, we will see you all in a few weeks. And uh, thanks for listening. I'm going to do my little uh, black book. Good luck. <laughs> all right, guys. Good luck. Four, three, two. Ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. <laughs>